good morning people of the earth uh it is four in the morning welcome to this vlog will it be a month of november vlog or will it be my surprise trip to pennsylvania vlog we will find out during editing but we are up because I'm going to pennsylvania i'm going to surprise my fiance That's a surprise. Oh my Aww. god. Yo, what? <laughs> come here, come here. Oh my god. Really came. I made it. She came. <laughs> and he was so surprised. Listen, and the crazy thing is, we share locations, but guess what? I turned mine off today. He didn't be checking out the time anyway. Well, Meanwhile, I was watching him. He was at <laughs> not Target. He was at Trader Joe's while I was, while I was on the way here. I could get some groceries, and hey, it was perfect timing, right? <laughs> I got him, y'all. I got him. One day I will get better at vlogging. That day is not today. Um, but I didn't do much today. Like I work. I'm still working actually, but I'm hungry, and the store closed at ten o'clock. So we're running to Giant Eagle. Giant Eagle. We're going to Giant Eagle because I want a seafood salad and some crackers and I've been craving chocolate covered pretzels. So we're gonna get that, I'm gonna go back, finish the last little thing I need to do for work and then that's it, like I'm done. It's already about to be 10 o'clock. So, and I've been up working since like six o'clock? No, not no. It was like, yeah, six o'clock California time. So nine o'clock here. Checks out, but whatever. So. <laughs> <laughs> it just it feels like it's late and I'm trying to I'm trying to be done. And we're gonna watch the new season of Disenchantment. Thank you, Ooh. Netflix. Um but I'm just like looking at the, all the stuff around here and I'm very intrigued. I can't wait till tomorrow. Like we can go out and explore because I wanna see some stuff. I wanna see some stuff. Um I saw a house. What? I'm gonna see some titties. I thought he said see some titties, like no sir, no. not in my Christian household. I saw um, a couple buildings already and I was like, oh, I like this. So I can't wait to actually see Pittsburgh in the daytime because last night and tonight, like, I'm, I'm intrigued, but I, I need to be able to see, like, for real. Because, you know, things look a lot different in the daytime than they do in the nighttime, okay? Did you know that Pittsburgh is known as the city of bridges? It has 446 bridges. I didn't even know it had that much water. But anyway, we made our way over a couple bridges and we went to Bonfire in downtown Pittsburgh for brunch. When I tell you the food was so good, like we didn't even know what to do. We enjoyed all of it. And then it started to snow. With my desire to see more of Pittsburgh, we went up on a slope. I don't know what it's called, but we went up and had a great view of like downtown Pittsburgh. Take a look for yourself. After taking in the views, we stayed up there a little while longer and walked around the shops. And then the itis hit us real hard. We went back and took a nap for like two hours. And it was snowing, so forget seeing Pittsburgh. I'll have to come back in the summer. And just as quickly as it began, my time in Pittsburgh was over. But I had the really cool final experience in Pittsburgh of seeing a plane wing cleaned. 
Have you ever seen that before? Let me know in the comments if you've seen an airplane wing cleaned before. I've never been anywhere this cold. So I got back into town and I had a food tasting for the wedding. It was my first time at a food tasting, so I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what to expect from the building, I didn't know what to expect from the food, but I did expect to have a good time with my mom. Say hi, mommy. <laughs> first up was the lemon chicken with penne pasta and a cauliflower medley. When I tell you it was so good, like the chicken was crispy and juicy, clearly I was surprised. Next we tried a whiskey glazed salmon on a bed of rice with unique flavors. Then there was a vegan option and a vegetarian option. All of it was so good. Good morning. This is Morgan. We're going up to the uh, mustard fields in Half Moon Bay. We were very excited. Yeah. And Morgan has never been to Lancaster before, so we're going to drive past the poppies as well. I'm excited. Thoughts all the about, fields. Oh, all the fields. All the, all the fields. Poppy Come on, fields. flowers. We're just gonna drive past the poppies. Oh yeah, no, we don't have to do that. <laughs> Thoughts on Lancaster so far? Um, we out here <laughs> in the middle of California for real. Like this is. I kept driving. Just kept on. Going. Kept on driving. Nobody wants to admit it, but the Antelope Valley is Central California. Like we like to go, like, oh, SoCal, we here. We are Central California. We are directly across from Santa Barbara, and Santa Barbara is definitely Central Coast. So. I hope this audio isn't too bad. <laughs> With all these <laughs> bumps and bumps. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> watch up, here we go. Let's see the poppy fields, I said. <laughs> and no poppies were to be found. I don't know if you can tell, but it was a very nice day this day. The sun is out shining. We found a little marketplace that was full of cars, full of people walking around. If we didn't have a goal in mind, like a set place to be, we probably would have pulled over and looked at it ourselves. We thought about it, we really did. But we decided not to and to just peer with our eyes from the car. Then we arrived! But there were more wildflowers in this field than there was mustard. So we stumbled upon the beach. I mean, it is a beach town. And of course, when there's a beach you've never been to before, you gotta check it out. Since the field we found was mostly wildflowers and it was behind a fence without any way to get in without trespassing, we decided to leave. We looked for another field according to the internet and it was a plain dirt field. So we left and with about an hour to spare, we went to go see a San Francisco overlook. Spacious. I was not expecting this. The beds look comfy. Oh, that's gonna be nice. 
Okay. Yay. And it's dinner time, dinner time, dinner time, dinner time. Hey, 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 hey. We got dinner from Little Walk Cafe that was by this cute theater. And we watched some Insecure while we ate. And when the next morning rolled around, we went to the Twin Peaks. It was so windy up there. Um, I don't like how this looks. I've got it, but uh, it looks. Yeah. <laughs> I made people the tunnel. Okay. Oh, you're such a cutie. I don't even know. My phone's getting absolutely none of this. Oh, there's another man here. I am. I'm a professional, Morgan. On the road again we went and we made our way to Marin where we were going to have brunch with one of Morgan's friends. It was a cute little shopping area, and we decided to have brunch at that place that was on the left. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. I'm glad that you've also ordered a pizza so I don't have to go on a super Oh, that was nice. <laughs> How do you lift it though? And he's like, oh, that's cute. Okay. And there she goes. Poor raspberry, rest in peace. So we just got off the freeway. We're on our way back, right? And we're driving down the 580, but they, I start seeing mustard plants everywhere. And so we see one off the side of the road. I'm like, I'm getting off. Let, let's go see. I don't see any fences. We might get in for free. Let's find out. And we are here. We have found mustard. I feel like we've struck gold.
Okay, so I know video-wise that was pretty anticlimactic, but in the moment there, we just had such a good time and took so many pictures. So follow us on Instagram if you wanna see. And then the following week, I went to breakfast with my mommy before going to a concert, well, photographing a concert that evening in my hometown. The next day we went over to a family friend's house. Her mom had recently passed, so instead of throwing stuff away, she said come over and look through. So we came over and looked through. Found some cute boots and some other pieces. Yo, Loki, I like this outfit though. <laughs> now, tell me I don't look like I belong in some of these Christian magazines. You know, I think it was called Sure or something like that. And they had all those dresses and like wigs and shoes and stuff. Tell me I don't belong in that magazine. So of course, right when I started to get comfortable, wig off and everything, I realized I need to go to Walmart and get my dog some food. So here I am at my friendly neighborhood Walmart. Let's get the stuff. If you enjoyed this video make sure to let me know by giving it a thumbs up and leaving a comment down below what was your favorite part what would you have liked to see more of thank you morgan for riding with me six hours up north to find a field that we didn't even know existed and thank you for watching this video i hope to see you again soon bye